Mumbai mein aapka swagat hai so good to see you sir All right now ladies and gentlemen as i said she's awesomeness personified she's just brilliant on screen and off screen also she's just like that give it up for parvati ladies and gentlemen the gorgeous parvati is here hamare sath welcome ma'am so good to see you uh chian vikram we say vikram or we say versatility is his second name give it up for chian vikram the superstar ladies and gentlemen who's here with us so every single time मतलब इज इट लाइक यू चैलेंज योर सेल्फ यू लुक इन टू द मेरा यू लाइक नहीं नहीं अभी ये नहीं चाहिए मुझे कुछ और चाहिए ऐसी बड़ी सारी बातें आपसे करनी है बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी टेल यू द शोज बिन प्रोड्यूस्ड ऑल ओवर लाइक द प्रोमोशन इसका जो जिम्मा है दैट इज श्रेयस इवेंट्स का तो एक बार उनके लिए जोरदार तालियां हो जाए देव बिन प्रोमोटिंग द फिल्म अक्रॉस द नेशन एंड फ्रॉम श्रेयस लाइव वी हैव मिस दिशा who's who's going to be welcoming these uh, uh, mavericks on this stage miss disha please aaiye we've got these bouquets we'd like you to welcome the superstars here sir de sakte ho one is for paranjit sahab and one is for parvati ji and uh, chian vikram sir aap dono ke liye ek mangaya hai maine i was like nahi ye aise hi hona chahiye Now that's a moment, ladies and gentlemen. That's a beautiful moment. Thank you so much, Disha, ma'am, for being here and doing the honors and welcoming them. I wish we co-host करती पूरा, but ठीक है, आगे बढ़ जाते हैं यहाँ पे. All right, uh, uh, Ranjit sir. First things first. You know, visuals are super striking with some unique uh, period wala settings. Slight hint of mysticism. Talk to us about that, sir. Yeah. Good morning, uh, sir. So good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> uh yeah uh i love magical realism uh i uh, i love inarito i followed in Inar- in uh, inarito and also kasia marcos uh, capital marcos yeah i read a lot uh, um his novels so uh, the magical realism i really loved and uh, magical realism uh, i very much connected with that uh, content so uh, i didn't use my movie before that first i trying to use that uh, in this movie and also this movie in tanglan dil uh, like it is not only uh, talk about tanglan uh, present uh, like uh, his uh, life and also tanglan had something in his mind so um, that story it's connected very much to mythologically so mythological uh, uh, it is com- uh, mythological is a different on some historical things and also some believness so believness it is kind of magical things like uh, it is a true or not true like uh, it's a different on beliefs so i'm uh, so i wanted to uh, use that uh, uh, that cra- uh, like uh, magical realism it will be um, and connect to that audience so uh, i wanted to uh, convey uh, i wanted to connect with that um, a magical realism thing through that uh, the mythological story yeah i'm trying like that whatever we've seen on that big screen is fantastic thank you thank you parvati ye aapke liye hai sawal main phool le lu aapse moment ban jayega waisa lagega jaise aapne mujhe diya mujhe lag raha hai ye aapka ek tarika hai phool apne apne paas rakhne ke liye to nahi de rahi <laughs> मुझे प्लीज ये बताइए हाउ हाउ डज इट फील टू बी बैक इन आमची मुंबई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विद दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ लव फ्रॉम ऑल आर एम एन एंड जर्नलिस्ट क्या बोलना है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग दैट क्वेश्चन आमची मुंबई वापस आके बहुत खुशी हो रही है ट्वेंटी uh, सेवनटीन में इरफान सर के साथ तनुजा चंद्रा करीब करीब सिंगल की टीम के साथ आई थी और उसके बाद भी आई थी मैं Uh, और ऑल्सो uh, 2019 20 कोविड से पहले मैंने शिफ्ट भी कर लिया था मुंबई uh, उसके बाद कोविड आ गया तो ऑफ कोर्स इट वाज डिफिकल्ट लेकिन मुंबई से जो नाता है वो कभी टूटने तो वाली नहीं है तो आप सब आए आज हमारे लिए वेट किया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग दैट विद अस अब हमें और गर्व फील हो रहा है टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस टीम हियर ऑफ कोर्स बहुत सारे हमारे लोग यहाँ नहीं है मालविका इज नॉट हियर ऑफ कोर्स शी इज फैंटेबुलस ऑन दैट स्क्रीन बट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस टीम कलेबोरेटिंग विद दैम एंड वर्किंग विद दिस दिस जेंटलमैन जो ऐसे ट्रांसफॉर्म होते हैं कि नो मैं पहले एक इंटरव्यू में बोल रही थी कि ये 
यू नो सागर जो एक नदी जो है जो सागर से मिलती है ऐसा ऐसा फील हो रहा था हम सबको लेकिन मेरे लिए स्पेशली क्योंकि मुझे गंगामाल जैसा एक कैरेक्टर मिला जो तंगलान की बीवी हैं उनके पांच बच्चे हैं और ऐसा है कि वो अकेले किया नहीं जा सकता वैसे फिल्म अकेले कर नहीं सकते इट्स अ टीम एफर्ट ऑब्वियसली लेकिन जब हम हीरो से मिलते हैं यूजली देर इज़ अ स्पेशल सम काइंड ऑफ एन और अराउंड दैम कि जो हम लोग सब थोड़ा बाहर रहते हैं इनके साथ बिल्कुल ऐसा नहीं होता है वो सबको अपने और खींचते हैं उनको जो चाहिए वो देते हैं उतने जेनरस एक्टर हैं और उस लाइक यू नो ही सच अ लार्जर देन लाइफ पर्सनैलिटी अदरवाइज बट एट द सेम टाइम सो लविंग ये बहुत क्लीशेड भी लग सकता है हम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में बोलते हैं ना आपस में बहुत यू नो प्रेस करना लेकिन नो आई मीन इट फ्रॉम माई हार्ट इनके बिना मैं मेरा जो कुछ भी आप काम देखने वाले हैं वो मैं कर नहीं पाती आई थिंक द होल टीम ऑफ तंगला मालविका हैज सेट दैर एंड बी मिस मालविका वन शी इज रोशियस एज आरती इन दिस फिल्म एंड विद रंजित ऑब्वियसली एज अ फिल्म मेकर आई लुक अप टू हिम लेकिन उससे भी ये जो है ना आपने पूछा था कि मैजिकल रियलिज्म के बारे में जो विजुअल स्टर्निंगनेस है पोलिटिकल तो वो हैं ही Uh, उनको जो कहना है इसमें एक तरीके से एक इनर सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्शन भी किया है वो इतने लार्जर देन लाइफ मैग्नीट्यूड में किया है कि वी फील लाइक वी बीइंग पुल टू द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ यू नो दैट्स द पावर ऑफ इट सो सिनेमैटिक मीडियम जो है मैं हमेशा से कहती आई हूँ उसका पावर छोटा मोटा नहीं है बहुत इन्फ्लुन्शियल है तो उस पावर को अंडरस्टैंड करके जो ये क्रिएट करते हैं उसमें एक छोटा सा किरदार करने में मुझे बहुत बहुत इन्जॉयमेंट हुई Thank you. इतना बढ़िया किरदार करके शीज लाइक छोटा सा किरदार वी जस्ट लव वॉट एवर वी सॉ ऑन दैट बिग स्क्रीन सर आ जाइए इन्होंने मुझे बोला था जब विक्रम सर से बात करोगे मुझे बुलाना मेरा मोमेंट होगा सो वेलकम टू आम ची मुंबई वन मोर टाइम थैंक यू कैसा लग रहा है रियली हैप्पी टू बी हेयर it's 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 amazing like i mean you know that bombay has so many films happening here and but yet when i entered this room to see that love that smiles on your face and the excitement to take pictures and videos that's really i mean something that i'm not going to forget it's really memorable to think that you guys take cinema so seriously thank you for accepting us here and uh, <clears throat> thank you for your lovely introductions i mean always whenever you do this i i'll always think do i really deserve this <laughs> i feel very humbled by all this every time you speak it's it's so so very beautiful the way you exude so much of confidence in our product like it's your very own which it is actually at the moment thank you so much for that every single time i have from ps before wow. and uh, i just want to thank uh, my cast and crew especially my director ranjit for giving me such a fantastic role uh, i wouldn't call it a role i would just call it like another identity of mine which he helped me discover and i'm so glad i discovered tangalan and i'm so glad that i discovered with with somebody as beautiful and as passionate about my work as she is about hers and uh, <clears throat> we really discover discovered our roles in this as tangama tangalan and gangama see it became gangama tangama wow <laughs> it couldn't get closer than that but i couldn't have done this all the scenes you would when you see the film you'll enjoy the the romance between us we are happily married with five children the eldest is about like 22 he's capable of getting married and having children of his own the youngest is about 3 but we still are in love very much in love and whatever the scenes we have together i mean i couldn't have done it with anybody but you parvati thank you for being my gangama and for being that beautiful buffer for my soul in this movie and uh, ranjit i love him for this role i've done some remarkable roles in my career but tangalan is super super special to me and it's something that i'm always going to remember and i think i'm going to show to my grandchildren and my great grandchildren with a lot of love if i'm still around then <laughs> but uh, it's 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 a very special film and uh, you're going to love this film because it's got wonderful performances like parvati was saying malavika is so ferocious you will see her in an avatar which i think is very rare in on indian cinema and screens and pasupati and hari and preeti and ashok and everybody is a performer in this movie and all of us felt that this was more than a movie it was all like pieces of our souls just coming together in one creation and we just gave it our all and you could see it in i think in everything there's there are making videos too where you'll see the turmoils we went through and the rigors we have put through and Uh, it was really tough it was very very difficult essaying our roles and uh, trying to bring this to life 
it's a film about adventure about fantasy about magical realism it's got magic in it and it's but it's also real he's trying to sh make us look in through that window into another era and to actually witness something i mean i'm sure if there are history books which can have this i'm sure they would identify with the costumes the weapons we use the materials we use he's tried to be as authentic as possible a lot of research has gone into it but at the same time he's got a very poignant message that he wants to deliver which has not been the prime focus of the movie he's made a very entertaining film a very captivating film but with a message which i'm sure all of us in the present times will identify with thank you ranjit for that effort and and we are so happy that we were also part of that in in, in my in like very powerful voice that you possess and thanks a lot for being so patient and listening to my ramble if it was it thank you very much thank you so much sir for sharing all of that of course talking about history the last time you were here you talked about india's pulse and the entire world just just followed you on that so here also we are talking about tribes of course their life how they've impacted all of us so i'm sure again again this is going to go down in history the this piece of cinema is going to be there just one thing sir you talked about the entire team you talked you did not talk about yourself talk to us about yourself and you know every day when you look into the mirror as i said do you like challenge yourself or that challenge is that one thing that's the sole motive behind signing on the uh, dotted line or something yeah it's actually the money but um, <laughs> no, i'm kidding it's not that i mean i've done films for free too when i was less ambitious till my wife hauled me up one day and said hey we need food on the table so it's changed after that but I love acting from when I was a kid from my third grade I've been only wanting to act I wouldn't even study and I've been beaten blue black because all I could imagine was this guy walking on a street and people calling him and saying hey can you sign for a sign a picture in, in an autograph or can we have a picture with you that's always been my dream cinema has always been my passion my dream and every time I do a role I try to do something that's very far from me and I think that stanglan is just another repercussion of that want it's it's the want to work on great characters with great directors like par ranjit all my directors have inspired me through all my characters work with great technicians and artists like parvati malavika daniel pasupati we've had such wonderful i've, I've had a really nice travel through cinema and uh, this again will be like one of my very special films and yeah the role i think when you see the film you will a lot of people in the south have identified with what we went through and they've all loved the performances so it is very flattering and like i said earlier very humbling when we hear such great stuff about us and about the movie and i'd like to take this opportunity on this stage to thank all the people who watched the film till now in all languages and made it what it is it's very difficult for a film like this to reach a wide audience like that and thanks to my producer nyanavel and ranjit for such a wonderful opportunity thank you very much Thank you so much sir and a lot of men out there are, are thanking you across the globe for that hairstyle that's yeah. like you know covering up a you know what what they are covering up because if you like chalo theek and we'll not talk about the bald spot or anything all right did i just say that uh, ladies and gentlemen it's uh, of course oh yes loin cloth dhoti is a lot dhoti comes till here is a loin cloth bharti ma'am ka teer aaya udhar se what should i say ma'am <laughs> i would say i think that was the you know i i was telling someone earlier today and you keep taking boxes and this is the role i want to do this is what i want to do on a role this is the, i want an introduction fight like in ps1 i want that introduction on a horse with my hair flying a competition with the mane of the horse you know it's as as glorious as that stuff like that or you have an introduction fight and then you have these dialogues and blah 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 but the first tick is always like how am i going to look and i think the loin cloth or the langot is it langot in hindi yeah not yeah yeah but this is the it's like a thong actually it's a loin cloth but that would be the first box that you need to tick before you move on and i'm sure most people would balk at it or be a little like you know apprehensive about it but i was seeing the role more than that and finally when i did i was like I, it was a huge step for me the first day of course all of us were a little shy and we kept doing that <laughs> and till we noticed that everybody was actually the rest the same way and then it became very cool to a point that when ranjit and all of them used to be in shorts and glares and of course they were very stylish blah blah but apart from them if an outsider came into the location we used to laugh at them because they'd been branded clothes and glares and they'd be like shielded from the sun and we don't look at them very funnily why are they so overdressed i mean poor people you know we actually looked at them like that and i'm not even joking it's it's not that it's about that or it's liberating or whatever it's 
something so beautiful. I mean, uh, just being, I mean, it was like in the purest form, uh, going back in time and all that. And uh, I loved the way I looked and I really miss not being in that right now. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, of course you rock. All right, Thank I won't you, keep you waiting. So we'll take the questions, but right before that, it's time for a quick photo op with the team, right? We'll do that and then we'll place the chairs. Sunil Bhai. I'll leave it. Photo op. And uh, we'll get to see this in theatres on the 6th of September, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we also have to talk about the organic growth of this movie. Uh, Baki languages may it has released and up Hindi may we all are waiting for it. Tangalan ko gussa nahi dilane ka. Thank you so much. We'll do the We'll do the solos. Good. Thank you. Now we'll place the chairs quickly. Yeah, come. Ajay. Ajay, cheating kar rahe ho aap log, hai na? We just watched trailer, it was fantastic. And Thank you, uh, sir. Songs were very good, both the songs. And Thoda Tanglan ke baare mein thoda amko khul ke bataiye, iska matlab kya hai? Tanglan or Artham? Tanglan is... Tanglan means uh, like a leader. He's a leader, it's a village leader. Um, he protect people. He lead the people, so he wants to uh, get some uh, liberation and he fight against uh, all systems. So that is Meena Tangalan, so wholesome. It's also a proper noun. Right? It's a proper noun. Hi guys, this is Nikita from India Forums. Hi, hi. My question is to you Vikram. Uh, yeah. Of course the trailer was amazing. Uh, we were not able to take our eyeballs off it for even a minute. And one of the most important reasons for the same is your attire, your physical transformation for the same. I would want to know more about the challenges that you faced for the physical or mental kind of transformation that you had to undergo for the film. Your physical was the easy part. Uh, I grew my hair, lost weight because I realized that I can't look like a hero. I should look like a normal, I, I should be like a laborer. I should be, I'm, I'm actually part of the oppressed. So I had to be someone who just barely had a square meal a day. And, uh, and you know that they're all very light and very wiry. I needed to be like that. So I had to sh shrink a little. Uh, but apart from that, it was like we had a lot of makeup done, like almost five hours day, every day. I had to remove my tattoo, then put on fresh tattoos. I have a scar which I had to hide, add scars, and all of that took time. Then we had the blood and we had um, mud and ash and gold in every scene. There's no scene where we look nice, as in that looks very nice, but like I would say look normal. But the transformation apart from that was uh, I spoke to Ranjit a lot. We had a lot of back and forth where I could I had to discover this person, this Tangalan, where, where is he from, what is his community, what does he stand for, what is he, is, I mean, he's a leader, so sometimes I used to feel that he had bravado and I used to be strong and he would come and tell me, no, actually he's very vulnerable, he's not just exactly, he's not always strong, with his wife he's different, with his children he's different, so he, he was doing a different role with everybody from in the community. So through the travel I had Ranjit to always guide me and uh, we went about this thinking that we needed to have like, 
I have been doing different performances, but we felt that this should be very unique when compared to other films. So we did a lot of internalizing. I, I did a lot of that before the movie started and initially it took me about three days to get into it. Then after that, all Ranjit had to do was just tell the scene and I would be doing exactly what he wanted. We were in total sync and I think that's, that's it's very, it's, it's, you know, it's very liberating and very inspiring to have that kind of an understanding with a director where you know that what you're doing is what he wants and he knows that what he wants is what I'm going to do even if he doesn't know what I'm going to do, you know. So when he sees it in front, he says, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Maybe I couldn't articulate it. And uh, I've had such a wonderful relationship with you, Ranjit, with regard to that. And everything you see here, I mean, all of it was inspired by this gentleman who sits so quietly and calmly twirling his moustache, looking very cool and deep. <laughs> yeah, thank you. He's actually, you know, he trips on this movie. When he wrote the script, he was tripping. There is no grammar in this movie. There's no interval blog, fight, or introduction, song, or fight. Everything just goes through a particular graph that's played only, and music that's playing only in his head. So he's still in that zone. Like even now when I'm talking, he's saying, I'm tripping, I'm there. He's not come back from KGF. God bless him. Hi, this Brito. is... Hello, sorry? Sorry, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hi, this is Alice Peter from Alice Peter. <laughs> yes, Alice. Okay. Uh, first of all, congratulations. The film has crossed 100 crores. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Alice. Alice Malayali, I know. <laughs> She's yeah, a Malu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm part Malayali. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yesterday we spoke. I don't know quite a bit to survive, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Parvati, ma'am, my questions for you. Uh, yesterday I had the wonderful opportunity to chat with Vikram sir and Ranjit sir, and they spoke about how there were one too many challenges while shooting this film, and like you just mentioned, there were quite a few turmoils as well. Uh, do you remember any specific moment while shooting the film uh, that you found really challenging? No. Only everything. so <laughs> simple. <laughs> no, no, uh, thank you for that question. Uh, there was not a single day that was not difficult. Every day I would go, we'd go finish filming and I was like, oh, like the hard part's over and the next day it's like another Everest is like right up there for us to climb and it really kind of taught me something about, you know, just persisting and like staying determined because Ranjit is like that. Ranjit is like, his vision keeps, I feel like it keeps multiplying every single day. That's what I felt. Like one day we'll shoot, he'll be inspired by all the work for his own vision, but by the work that he's seeing, that he'll add more and more nuances. And like, you know, Tanga was saying, he, he trips on his own work as well. So it was challenging is an understatement, frankly, but it also did transform. When you do surrender to something like that, you can crib and cry and complain. And I did do all of that. Um, it, it's, it's left me so much more prepared as an actor to take more risks and challenges and be more of a moldable clay for directors, hopefully, you know, with very different characters and um, to sort of align with their vision. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Kunal here from IWM Buzz. Hi, Kunal. Uh, hi. So my sir is for Paranji. My question is for Paranjit, sir. Uh, sir, I mean, I've been a fan, of course, and Nar Chatiram Nagarkarit is one of my favorite films. So uh, I want to ask you is that uh, the idea of, you know, revolting against oppression, um, it's pretty much a constant. I think you probably believe in it a lot more than, you know, other, others do. Even your organization, uh, you know, has a collaboration with Castless Collective. And that seems to be a factor in this film as well. So is it something as a topic that speaks really, you know, to my, like very personally to you and you make sure to put it across in a, you know, much more entertaining way so that it's out there for everyone to do it? Uh, see, I choose cinema for only uh, discuss with the people. So uh, uh, I had a, some problem with the system uh, in India. Uh, the caste um, problem in everywhere, so I affected by the system. So, uh, what I understood in my uh, uh, childhood and what I understood Baba uh, Ambedkar wants to tell, uh, wants to make a modern India, so uh, I followed him and uh, I got a lot from him. So, uh, through my art, 
I wanted to discuss, uh, I, I don't want to uh, only uh, entertain people. I, I wanted to try to enlightenment through, uh, I wanted to try to enlightenment, get enlightenment and also uh, uh, we need to address, we need to understand uh, what um, we, uh, uh, we have a problem in modern India also we had a lot of separation, we have a lot of problems, we have a still a practicing caste and class problem also is there. So my movies, my art, I wanted to use that. So that is my concern. Thank you. Uh, this is for Parvati. Uh, you were talking a little while ago about uh, you don't want to use the word pan India. You said it's just Indian. Remove that pan, which I agree with you. And uh, I've noticed that you're multilingual. Uh, how do you speak so many languages and how do you speak Hindi so well? I think my mic, oh, it's okay. Uh, thank you. I, I, I studied in Kendri Vidyal. Is it better? It's much better, isn't it? Okay. I like the reverb. Like it's like <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> um, I studied in Kendri Vidyalaya. Like, so my schooling was with, my language was English and Hindi in sco during schooling and also in Trivandrum in Kerala. KAV was in an army cantonment area. So all my friends were army kids and, you know, North Indians most of the time. So I actually learned Malayalam after I passed out of school. I had to like start reading newspapers and and then pretty soon after that, I mean actually while I was in first year of college, I started acting. And very soon it became the, it, it became about learning the language in which my character thinks. And it, I have huge respect for voice actors and dubbing artists because then it's a partnership. Like I may have performed, they really have to get the essence with whatever Sometimes the directors are there, sometimes it's the direction department that's there helping them out. Um, but mostly I try to dub for myself as well and sing sound if that helps. But more importantly, while performing, if I get the train of thought, because a thought happens and then the words, sometimes it spills over, but that becomes much better for me to understand that. So I always use acting now as a way to learn a new language. And at this point I can speak five Indian languages. So. I, d I did not, I did not uh, get it, but I am so grateful that the ones who did do the dubbing may have gotten to know Gangamal. I, all, I mean, art has to be generous, I feel. I mean, at one point I used to be very selfish, I was like, mujhe hi karna hai, sare languages mein, but I feel like, hey, they got to know Gangamal, so I'm actually quite happy they got to. Uh, lekin, I got the chance to speak Tamil in, in the dialect it was spoken at the time because it was sing sound. And uh, I had a great team uh, that worked with uh, Ranjit to help me with that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take one last question. Yeah. Yeah, me. Hi, hi, Parvati. Samina here from Zoom Channel. And yesterday we did a good interview. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Lovely to see you over there. But Parvati, my question is to you. You have worked over here in Bollywood and you have worked in the South as well. You have worked with late Irfan Khan and you have worked with uh, Vikram in this one. What is some similarity or some differences which you see uh, if you could t talk about that? Wow, that's a heavy question for a <laughs> press conference. I guess there is, I guess it's a generosity for sure. It's not a guess. It's definitely the generosity I see in both of them. Uh, uh, Irfan sir used to tell me, you know, help me out with things because Hindi is not my uh, native language. So he used to help me get into that space and made sure that everyone knew you're as good as the other person on set. And I saw that generosity in him. And when I worked with Tanga here, he is, the, he, it, it expands further away from even actors. It's everybody on set. It was amazing how on set you'd go in and first of all, I, I miss getting all the toffees. Like there is a particular native toffee that we get there and uh, his kamar cut, it's called. It's like this jaggery, palm sugar, jaggery ka thing. And he'd just be walking around and he'd shake hands and suddenly you have a toffee in your hand. Like he just brightens the mood for everybody, not just me, the kids obviously and others also. But the way he asks, everybody is like, khana khaya ki nahi, apne ye sab kuch. And it's not for sure, like, I mean, we can, people can do that also, but it genuinely, there is a concern how everyone is doing. And our um, shooting location was very difficult. It was uh, one of the most harshest locations. It was all real locations that they shot in. 
and he had a, he he had everyone's back and that leads and that in that sense he was our tangalan you know he was leading the pack in that sense he was also like leading all of us in terms of our um, ads and crews and everyone to make their lives easier so i find that greatness comes from you know that saying about people don't remember what you might have said or given them it's about how you make them feel that's the similarity in irfan sir and and vikram i would say thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for being so amazing and that's all we have for you we'll meet the superstars one more time uh, on the 6th of september onwards i should be saying uh, when the movie releases in hindi uh, across uh, the world thank you so much yaar bhai bhai karwa we have it yeah <laughs> they pretty prompt sir <laughs> yes the director saab is so happy of course you know that's that's the high vikram sir was talking about thank you so much sir for being here vikram sir thank you so much thank, thank you thank you, you guys thank yeah we'll we'll have thank a final people. photo up and then we'll wrap this up yeah thank you Thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you so much